Hi, my name is Logan. This is not my first time recording videos like this, but it is my first time posting them to YouTube. I used to make videos with my best friend, Finn, but something happened. The place I posted doesn't exist anymore, and I don't have the copies anymore. So I'm hoping that by putting them on YouTube, I'll be able to keep them. Mainly because Finn... How do I explain this? So this may be hard to believe for some people, but fairies actually exist. Finn and I, we always believed in fairies when we were little. We used to read books and things, but we never saw one. Fairies are sneaky and secretive like that. Until a few years ago, Finn's mother got very sick. He knew that medicine could only do so much, so he thought that talking to a fairy about it would be the only way to get his mother back to health. And so, long story short, Finn ended up making a deal with a fairy who did bring his mother back. Uh, she did restore his mother's health, but in return, she wanted Finn for some elite guard warrior unit type thing. I wasn't exactly privy to all the details, so I'm not exactly sure what <laughs> what the terms of the deal were. All I know is that Finn has, been, has spent the last several years training. He is no longer entirely human. Essentially, they made him into a fairy. I'm not sure how that worked. But he can do all sorts of magic and all sorts of stuff now. And he's also really, really good with a sword and with a bow and arrow and throwing knives. Like, <laughs> I mean, this is the same Finn that when we were kids, I mean, he missed every time we played horseshoes. And now he's like an expert at all sorts of fighting. And I, I just can't believe it in such a short amount of time. Well, 10 years. Not that short amount of time. Anyway, recently, like in the last week, this fairy, and I forgot her name. Anyway, she came to take Finn for his part of the deal. So Finn is actually currently in the fairyland with this troop of other fairies, other warriors, whatever they're called, this unit, whatever they're called. And... He has been able to write me letters. So, the last videos that we made where Finn was actually with me are all gone. So, I can't see him anymore. But this way, reading his letters on YouTube, not only will I be able to keep the physical copy of the letter, but if anything ever happens to the physical copies, I will still have this video, which will be online for everyone to see, to help me remember. So, <clears throat> without further ado, I'm going to read you the letter, that the first letter that Finn wrote me from his post in the fairy world. Dear Logan, I know it's only been a couple of days since I left, but I promise to write often. I wanted to give you my first impressions of this place while they're still fresh in my mind. Plus, I miss you already. Finn and I were the kind of friends we spent every day together, so not having him here feels weird. <laughs> um, this place is unlike any place on Earth. The air is so fresh and sweet. The sky is a shade of blue that I've never seen before. And the creatures. Logan, the books we used to read as children have nothing on the fairies that I see around me. There are beings here that I can't even accurately describe. There's no way I could ever do them justice. Okay, well that's just a cheap way of doing that. He could at least try to describe some of the things. I'll just have to find a way to get you here so that I so that you can see them for yourself. Oh. 
that makes up for it, I guess. I would so love to be able to meet a fairy. Um, <clears throat> like I said before I left, I won't be able to tell you every detail of our missions, especially since you're going to read these letters in your videos. I know you, Logan. Okay, so maybe I didn't exactly get permission to read these online, but I'm taking this as permission because he said he knows I was going to do it anyway. <clears throat> so, technically, now I have permission. He can't get mad at me. But I'll tell you what I can. Right now, we are stationed in a stone castle type thing. That's an accurate description. High in the mountains. It's freezing, but the uniforms that we were given are amazing at keeping us warm. Good. I'm glad he's staying warm. I hate the cold. I hate it when it's too hot, too. So, like, spring and fall are my favorite seasons because it's not too hot and not too cold. But Finn's always been better at dealing with that kind of thing than I am. <sighs> there is one thing that I don't like about this agreement. Or this arrangement. One thing... Come on, Finn. I think me not being there is one thing you'd miss. Not being home is another thing. Anyway, sorry. The warriors that were born as Fae look down on those of us that were once human. They think that just because they were born with magic, that makes them better than us. We're supposed to be a team. We're supposed to work together. We trained just as long and as hard as they did. Harder, actually, since we didn't have the advantage of learning magic alongside learning to walk and talk. That makes me sad. Aleander. That's the fairy's name. Aleander. I forgot her name for a minute. Aleander, Aleander handpicked us all for this unit, and I have a feeling that if we can't figure out a way to work together, then someone is going to get hurt. I really hope that's not you, Finn. I don't want you to get hurt. Anyway, I have to go now. Right back when you can. Stay safe. Finn. He's telling me to stay safe. He's the one out on dangerous missions. Fighting fairies. Fighting alongside fairies. I guess he'd be fighting fairies, too. I guess that makes sense. All I'm doing is staying at home. Going to work. Not seeing him. What am I going to do that's dangerous? Anyway. That was his first letter. Um, I don't know when I'll get the next one. I think I should probably write him back first. But I will be sure to read his next letter as soon as I get it. I'm really going to miss him. It's not fair that he gets to go to the fairy land and he gets to be a fairy and I don't. But I'm happy for him. I'm scared for him, but I'm happy for him. Do, do any of you have a best friend like that? Somebody that you grew up with, that you spent every day with, and then all of a sudden, you can't see them every day like you used to. I can't even talk to him on the phone. I can't even hear his voice. It's not like they have technology in the fairy land. <laughs> I don't know why. They should. They think they're so much better than us. They should have technology. But they don't. So I can't hear his voice. I don't know when the next time I'll see him is. This letter right now is the only thing I have. I hope he stays okay. Anyway, that's all for this video. It would be such a great help if you would like this video. Um, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and maybe share it with your friends. That would be a huge help. But I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye!